The world's super volcanoes have been dormant for thousands of years, something that has troubled many researchers who study what happens between super eruptions. Super volcanoes can be found all over the world, sometimes at the top of crowded cities. Almost everything is waiting to explode and cover large parts of the land with ash, lava, and molten rock. To become a supervolcanoes, a volcano must have experienced an eruption at some point in history with a volcanic explosivity index of 8, the largest index value recorded. Some supervolcanoes are the most famous volcanoes in the world, such as Yellowstone in the US and Lake Toba in Indonesia. Even though we know the supervolcanoes is about to erupt, Little serious effort has been made to monitor it and find out what to do if an eruption occurs, and a team of geologists previously warned that the ensuing chaos has been largely ignored. Super volcanoes often erupt several times with intervals of tens of thousands of years between each event. According to Professor Martin Danisic, from the John DeLayeter Center based at Curtin University, Little is known about what happened at the supervolcanoes during this period. Super eruptions are one of the most powerful events in Earth's history, releasing large amounts of magma almost instantly. This could have an impact on the global climate, causing the Earth to experience a volcanic winter, an abnormally cold period that could result in widespread famine and population disruption. Studying how supervolcanoes work is important to understanding the inevitable future threat of super eruptions, which occur once every 17,000 years. Although scientists know a lot about the world's supervolcanoes, only a few are regularly monitored and inspected. Worryingly, supervolcanoes are so large that it is almost impossible to prepare for their eruption. When a danger like this becomes so great, you can't prepare much, he said. The best thing you can do is try to build buildings that are less likely to collapse. You just have to hope to God that when an earthquake happens, the buildings stay standing. But of course, we see all over the world where buildings inevitably collapse after a regular earthquake. But there is little contingency planning afterward. Professor Danisic and his team investigated the magma left behind after the devastating eruption of Lake Toba 75,000 years ago. Using a variety of data and modeling, they showed that magma continued to flow out of the caldera from the large drop in land caused by the eruption for between 5,000 to 13,000 years after the eruption. The remaining magma was then pushed upwards into the sky like a giant shell. The findings challenge existing knowledge and learning regarding eruptions. Scientists must now, considering that eruptions can occur even if no liquid magma is found beneath the volcanoes, the concept of what can erupt needs to be applied. 